What's the mindset like for this team going into the Big 12 tournament? Um, it's like 0-0. You know, you played everybody already twice. And just going into this tournament, I feel like we just have to play how we've been playing, play consistent on defense and on the offensive end and get the job done. How do you avoid looking ahead to the NCAA tournament, the big dance that everybody's always looking forward to playing for a national championship versus locking in on the Big 12 tournament. You've already played everyone twice, yeah. but you have a chance to cut down the nets, hang a banner. It's a very real possibility with this week. How do you focus on this and avoid yeah. the big dance? I would say more than anything, we need to just focus on right now. This is the biggest thing for us, winning a Big 12 championship. So we just need to go in with the mindset that um, everything else will take care of itself if we take care of these games coming up next for us in this tournament. Coach was talking about how getting you guys to believe that on any given day you can play like you did against Stanford, against Tennessee, yeah. has been maybe a challenge and that there's a part of her that thinks that maybe you guys truly don't grasp what your potential and ceiling can be. I yeah. mean, what do you think about that? How, how are you guys going to get in the frame of mind to where that's a daily belief? Yeah, I feel like how you mentioned the Stanford game, we all play phenomenally phenomenal. And I feel like once we play to our expectations and each and every one of us does our job, like how we did in that game that you mentioned, that we can shock a lot of teams and we could beat a lot of teams. It's just, it's up to us more than anything. The coaches can't do it. Nobody else can, the fans, it's us. You know, we're the ones playing. We're the one with the balls in our hands. So we just have to go out there and play how we know how to play, play Texas basketball. What kind of, a, of an adrenaline shot did everybody get when Baylor went down the other day? That, you know, hey, they're not, they're not a machine. It's like they can't be beat. You know, how much did that help you guys or do you guys even wonder about that? Uh, Baylor's a great program. Iowa State is a great program. I feel like both teams played really well and Iowa State just happened to get the win. But I have a lot of respect for Baylor. I know that they have a winning program and they are a great team. Um, I mean, it is a shock when you beat a top team in the country. We've done it. So, I, you know, Everyone has, has to take a loss here and there, but I really uh, congratulate Iowa State and Baylor for their competitiveness in that game. So they both played well. What do you remember about West Virginia and playing them twice already? And you guys split. What do you remember about those games? Yeah, I remember that they won at home and we won at home. So now no one's home. So we'll see how that goes. You know. Obviously, everyone has to deal with this now, but what are the challenges of playing a team for a third time, a team that Obviously, they know everything you're going to do, and you mm -hmm. know the same about them. Yeah, honestly, now it's like you can't even you can't watch enough film. Like you, you've played them once; uh, they played you once. So it's just, I guess, when we won, just do the things that we did that game, and know that that team got better, and everyone has gotten better since then. You know, we played them twice already, so everybody's going to have a different tactic now. So just uh, watching more film, and it's a quick turnaround, so we got to get ready.